personally, and he did it personally, and he told him what he had to say, and then he went back on. Well, what did he say to him? Well, I think you can ask Bob that. Well, I would ask Bob that, but he's not here, so I'm asking you... Well, I'll leave you... that to Bob to explain to you next time you see him, Sam. Oh, was that sort of serious, was it, or...? Yeah. Well, well, serious. It was a message that he wanted to talk to Brian about something that happened in the game, and then he sent him back on. An attitudinal problem? Not really, not attitudinal, no. Yeah, just a discipline thing? Partly discipline, but also... I think we'll get in its total context that uh, this week we've had a tremendously heavy week, motivationally and on the track, including running at the tan at 6am in the morning, Wednesday morning. Brian, the player, supported him and he came out and there's no doubt in the last six weeks that was his best game and he was attacking the ball the way we wanted him to attack. Well, incidentally, I admired, admired the move and admired the way in which he spoke to Taylor. Now, and I must say, Ron, I, uh, in the face of tremendous adversity, I admired the way you really did try and find a formula for success. You moved just about every player on the ground in a search to get something out of that side, but it was pathetic, wasn't it? Well, as I said, it wasn't... Uh... One of our best displays by a long shot. Uh, what about Lautert? Has he ever played at fullback before? Yes. Uh, well, running short of you know, tall guys, we just we just ain't got many tall guys uh, in form or uninjured. So, and Darren's done quite well. He's a young kid, doing his best. Uh, he may not be the answer at this stage of his career, but he's got a future if he works at it. And uh, one final question, Lee McCormick. It seemed to be a winning move, taking him off the back line when he was beaten and putting him down there. You've, you've done that before, obviously, have yeah, you? Fa <laughs> fairly rarely for Peter, because he actually came to Collingwood as a full forward, Assumption College. So he's played there quite a bit, but obviously in the last eight or nine years he's been the regular fullback, so uh, the switch worked. Ron, just as Lou puts the things down, are you willing to coach Melbourne next year? I'm not having any thoughts on Melbourne or discussing any thoughts on what I'm doing next year until the end of this year. Yeah. So would you be prepared to We're not saying. Year? I just said something, Sam, didn't you hear? Didn't you hear him? <laughs> oh, but don't you. you Echo on like, your side, mate. Mr. Sir like Jerry G. Be quiet. Well, I'm, but don't interrupt him when he's talking. I've got the uh, Pataki uh, small goods there. They're really the best in the business. Uh, and also the Valentine's Tasty Cheese. Not forgetting this magnificent. You're a sport magazine. And also.